Hi everyone, you alright? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here with my good friend Nick and my friend Ollie behind the camera. Today we're going to be filming blood pressure and how to take it. On Nick, we're going to do manual blood pressure, which you go to the GP and they'll do it for you. And with Ollie, we're going to be doing the automatic version where you can do it in the comfort of your own home and do it by yourself. At the end, we're going to run through a few questions about how to do it, what the readings mean, and potentially what treatments you can do natural and via medication to help lower your blood pressure. Now I'm going to take Nick's blood pressure manually. To do this, you go to your GP where they would use a stethoscope and a manual blood pressure cuff. And what they do is they're going to wrap this around your arm and pump it to kind of listen in to what your blood pressure would be. Some GPs prefer to have a table here and make the patient rest their arm and manually read it at a higher level. However, I prefer to go down and read it at the patient's level as I find it more natural and a bit easier. To manually do this, you're going to need a stethoscope. I'm going to put this around my neck for convenience and a manual blood pressure cuff. You have to put this around the patient's arm and the best way to do this is you want to look for the arrow and then you want to line this on the brachial artery, which is medial, just here. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate, but if you do it rough, it is good enough. But the trick is you just have to make it tight enough where it's not too loose, because if it's too loose, the reading is going to be false and not accurate. And the way I like to test it is if you can put a finger underneath, it's probably a bit too loose. So here you can't really do it. So that's perfect, I'd say. The first part of the reading they do in the GP is they want to feel your pulse here. So anyone can really do that. You just feel it kind of just it's the radial pulse. It's just below your thumb. It's just in that part there, that groove. And just put two fingers there. And you can, even if you do it on yourself now, you can kind of feel the pulse already. And what the doctors do, they're going to keep squeezing it until they don't feel it. And what that does is it gives you the upper estimate of the systolic value. Um, as we saw in my previous video, um, the systolic value is the pressure that's used by the heart to pump blood around the body when it contracts. And this is just the estimate for the upper value. <clears throat> so as I'm doing now, just put two fingers there. So you've got you you got a good pulse, mate. <laughs> you've got a good pulse. And squeeze it. As you can see, it's not inflating because I haven't turned the notch. If you don't turn the notch, the pressure is not going to come. So that's an important thing to do. Turn the notch. Put two fingers there. Feel the pulse. And keep squeezing. Sorry, I forgot to end it. <laughs> okay, this is the other way. <laughs> so I'm doing it until I don't feel the pulse anymore. Yeah, so I, I stopped feeling it around 120, 130. So that's a good healthy indicator that his systolic value is around 120, which is kind of the recommended by the NHS. <clears throat> so now that I found the radial pulse estimate for the systolic value, which is 120, I'm going to go about 15, 20 above that and then go down. And at the first point I hear it, that's going to be his systolic value. And at the second time where it disappears, that's going to be his diastolic value. The diastolic value is the pressure where the heart is relaxed and resting and the blood is filling it back up again. So the way you do that is, you get your stethoscope, you make sure it's pointing towards you, like this, you pull it in, and then you wanna make sure you tap to make sure it's working. So my stethoscope is working good. And you wanna pull it just where the brachial artery would be, which is medial and just there. So you kind of can tuck it underneath the cuff and then you listen there. At first you're not going to hear it, but when you inflate it, you're going to shortly hear it. Turn the notch as before. And make sure you warn the patient where is it going to hurt, because sometimes some patients say they're a bit skinny, they it kind of hurts them a little bit. Why do you <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm going to inflate the cuff. So as I said, I'm going to inflate it to around 140, but I don't hear it. Yep, 
Yeah, so I hear I hear this systolic value around one twenty. So that's a really good, really good healthy systolic pressure. And I'm going to slowly deflate the cuff, but I don't hear this until I don't hear the sounds. Yeah, so the blood pressure for Nick today was 120 over 60, which is coincidentally perfect in regards to NHS recommendation. So the way you can really do that is, I'm going to cover it a bit later in the video, but if you do a lot of exercise, eat healthy and clean, which I assume you do. I try. You try, <laughs> you try. Well, clearly it's working as his blood pressure is at the recommended level. Right, so now that we've done the manual blood pressure, we don't need a stethoscope or the manual cough, so we're just going to leave that to the side. And we're going to replace that with an automatic cough. So I'm just going to give that to you to Oli for now. The automatic cough, the good thing about it is that the patient can do it on their own, in the comfort of their own home, and not, not need to go to a GP to do it necessarily. Um, the way they do that is, is you want to get the cough, and then the same way as before, you want to wrap it around your arm, in your arm. I, oh, you how do you think you did? I don't see any problems. So the tightness, tightness is it's all right, but you put it the wrong way. You see, um, like the previous manual cuff, there's an arrow. So ideally, you want the arrow to be pointing upwards. So instead, you would turn it around, and you put it on yourself, and I'll hold it up for you. Thank you. You have to tighten it. Yeah, good. A little bit tighter, please. A little bit tighter. And you want to get a false reading. Yeah, that's a bit better. And what you do now is you just want to press the button and it's going to do your reading automatically. So as you can see, this is a, a lot easier than doing it manually. It's a lot quicker. There's no need for you to leave your house and actually go to a GP to do it. As you can do it in the comfort of your own home and do it quite quickly. Um, if you're an other adult and you have children, they can do it for you. It's literally just putting something around your arm and the blood pressure cuff does it for you. So the reading he got was 139 over 86. Thank you for watching everyone. Uh, go like and subscribe and yeah, share the channel. And thank you. Health is well. Health is well. <laughs>